introduce your teacher? Uh, uh, she's the bodies in the closet somewhere? My name is Kay Jacob and I'm a principal, which by, by Indian terminology means the head of the school. I met with Spokey and uh, Spokey had a background in inspections um, through the British system, but it was clear and I think that was, this is really important to me, that it's rather than somebody coming in from the outside and finding fault with the school, for our school it needed to be uh, very collaborative and completely non-threatening and non-judgmental. People who are actually teaching and or working in schools and they do it voluntarily. They come out of their own school and they have an opportunity to visit another school. It's great professional development for everybody, but it doesn't have the feeling of somebody from the top coming down, you know, not nothing from the Ministry of Education, nothing like that. The biggest finding for us as a community, I think it's something we knew, but it was really helpful to have it reflected back to us, was that we were inconsistent. We had some great stuff happening, but it wasn't happening um, across all classrooms. And the biggest uh, gap for us was in the teaching and learning itself. If consistent teaching and learning isn't happening in the classroom, then it's it's pretty much useless, right? I mean, that is the point of having a school. And Spokane Kavita actually recommended that we create a teaching and learning team because our administration was spending too much time on logistics and things like that. So that again created uh, the commitment to making sure that we were getting in and out of classrooms as often as possible and that we were focused in our workshops and our professional development on classroom practice. So it gave us a chance to sort of hone in on what would make us um, a better school from that perspective. Um, what primarily uh, been a journey is that to understand the structure uh, and to help build up several structures in the school setup. Uh, Prime, uh, looking at several uh, parameters like learning walks and classroom observations, understanding how to uh, go about classroom observations, how to imbibe uh, those uh, in the teaching learning process, how to help teachers improve, how to share feedback. So I remember uh, the first session where, which we had with Spokey where he taught us how to, uh, how to facilitate a feedback session, uh, how to ease the atmosphere, how to get the, the teacher feel comfortable and not threatened. Uh, that has been a big learning. So Learning Walk essentially uh, started with the process where we uh, spoke to teachers. Uh, we helped explain the process to them, how it is a, a collective understanding of, uh, of an improvement journey. Um, and also uh, opening up the platform of Learning Walk not only only restring it to leaders but also to different teachers so that uh, they know uh, that it is meant uh, as a collective improvement process rather than uh, focusing on what we are missing out. Whether a teacher is new or old, we always do a learning work. So uh, the coordinators, they do a learning work and we go to classes. We have certain areas that we see every uh, time that we go and we take down uh, you know what is happening whether the teacher is standing in front of the um, blackboard how much blackboard usage is done whether there is classroom movement uh, what kind of classroom movement whether uh, there is uh, uh, the teacher is talking for most of the time or the students are also talking whether it's a 80 20 uh, percentage of talking of teacher and student going on so all these things we see and we note now we wanted to get a third person perspective on our work since we've been working on innovation in education for the last 10 or 12 years we realized that many a times you have blind spots and you're not able to see your work from outside and uh, we started meeting some agencies to get accreditation and we figured uh, amongst many of those people that what Adhyayan uh, seemed like uh, an an agency with some experience in really building uh, a comprehensive system that goes beyond just accreditation or assessment but actually puts the school on a path of self-improvement. It gave us a common vocabulary, it uh, gave us a framework to look at things consistently, it gave us a framework uh, to evaluate progress. Uh, so many, uh, many an organizations come into uh, a school wanting to be there for many years uh, and to, uh, uh, to, to, to create repetitive work. But I think Adhyayan from day one was committed 
to handing the work back to the team and uh, and sort of making them independent rather than making them dependent. So would you recommend uh, Adhyayan to other schools and organizations? Absolutely, to every single school in the country. Join the movement.